When August temps hit a high, there's nothing better than a cold meal. So Chef Trevor Louie has noodles that'll keep you chill. And here's what you're gonna need to, for this recipe. You need some dried noodles, a carrot, a cucumber, some green onions, ham, oyster sauce, and hoisin sauce, Chinese black vinegar, some soy sauce or tamari, sesame oil and canola oil, black and white sesame seeds, and shredded nori. Ooh, it sounds like it's gonna be a good one. Uh, how do we start making it, Trev? Hey, Trace. Well, listen, summer's here, uh, and we never want, I don't know about you, but I don't want to give up my noodles and my carbs, and I don't necessarily like to eat them hot on a, or on a nice hot day if I'm out in the backyard with barbecue and whatnot. So this is a really great traditional recipe that my mom made when we were kids, but I've changed it a little bit, uh, changed up some of the recipes, and I changed the noodles. We are going to be using uh, a sweet potato or a mung bean noodle. And you can get these at most grocery stores. If you don't find them in a traditional store, you will find them in an Asian grocery store. They kind of look like this. They come in a cellophane package. No different than making any other pasta. Uh, we sped the process up. You get a pot of boiling water. You drop these in with a little bit of salt. It takes about four or five minutes. And then that's it. You take them out. You rinse them under cold water because there's a little bit of starch on them and you put them in an ice bath really quick and then you drain them. So I've got some noodles all set right here. These are all hydrated and already cooked. I'm gonna throw them into the stainless bowl. And the great thing about these noodles, it's not like other noodles, they actually expand. So the package that looks small actually is a lot more noodles than you would expect. So it's gonna to be tons to feed everyone here. So Tracy, I know a lot of times there's uh, challenges with if you're making a cold noodle that you cook the noodle that sometimes they stick. Do you know what the secret is for ensuring your noodles don't stick? No, and I'm wondering what that is because that can be kind of frustrating. What should you do so that they don't just all clump up together? Well, the, the quickest thing that I like to do is I like to use a really good neutral oil. I use canola oil for this and we'll just squirt them right through right into the noodle. It becomes part of your dressing. And I use a canola oil in this uh, instance because it's a neutral flavor. We have a lot of other ingredients going in. So I want to make sure that the flavors from those other ingredients don't get overpowered by, a, by a, an oil like a sesame oil that sometimes is very overpowering. So we've got that. They're all oiled up and ready to go. We're going to start dressing them. And we got all our vegetables, right? So we've gotten a carrot and we've julied them into these, you know, it's, it's like a shaved bunch of carrots, right? I put them in there like that. English cucumber, which we've cut up. Uh, if they're not overly ripe and they're fresh, they're still hard. There's not too many deseeding or water that you need to deal with. We'll dump those right in. Got some green onions that we chopped up. I'm not going to use all of them. I'm going to use just about half of them, okay? Now we're going to go into our chopped up meat. And this is a great little secret because mom always had cold cuts in the fridge. You can use any kind you want. You can use turkey. You can use chicken. I'm using a little bit of smoked ham, so we've julienned those. Heck, it's Monday. Let's put them all in. That is it for that. Next is our dressing. And in our dressing, Tracy, we got a whole bunch of fun stuff in here. We've got oyster sauce. We've got soy sauce. We've got sesame oil. We've got a little bit of hoisin going here. Okay. And then the last but not least is our tamari or soy sauce. Tamari is gluten-free soy sauce. We are using a gluten-free noodle. So this is a gluten-free dish. If you want to use regular soy, I would suggest using a lighter soy to bring down the sodium. Oyster sauce is an oyster sauce that is, so sauce is extracted from oysters, but I'm using a vegetarian kind, so it's, a, so it's a simulated oyster flavor sauce, which is salty and sweet. And then there's hoisin sauce. Hoisin sauce is if you've had Peking duck or had a roasted pork in a Chinese barbecue, barbecue joint, they'll give you this sauce that you dip in. It's sweeter, a little bit of salt, a lot of umami. That is the last sauce that we would put in. Then there's sesame oil, just a little bit, not too much, because we don't want to overpower. And then the black Chinese vinegar is a very traditional Asian uh, cold vinegar that we like to use. We put it all in here. Now I'm a hands kind of guy, okay? We're gonna get all right in here. and We're gonna mix this up really, really nice. We'll move this out of the way, okay? And Trace, I'm gonna start plating this, because this is tons of flavor, tons of umami. It's quite healthy. It sits in the fridge for for a few days if you can't finish it all at once, okay? You see all the color here. We've got all our noodles. Now, remember we kept some of those green onions? I'm gonna garnish the green onions on top. 
Gonna add a little bit of black pepper, because I like a little bit of black pepper in everything. And then, I love this, toasted sesame and ground up nori. Or if you want, you can go get something like called furikake from your Japanese store. But this is just a mix of sesame seed and uh, seaweed nori. Give a little bit of that toasty flavor, okay? Now I know this isn't called in the recipe, but everyone loves a little bit of extra garnish on top. So we're just getting some fresh cilantro. And that is it. That is the easiness of making a big platter of noodles just for any hot day that you can enjoy. It sits well in the fridge and it's so refreshing and so tasty. You know, people will look at the list of ingredients and think, ooh, this might be complicated, but no. Trev, thanks so much. You can find the full recipe as always on our website, that's cityline.tv.